Hey, how's it going, guys? In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create this horizontal bar graph in Excel. All right, so this is a, a graph that I saw on uh, superoffice.com, and I don't think the graph is on there anymore. But I really like this graph, so I decided to uh, mimic in the graph in Excel. On the right hand side is the screenshot that I took. On the left hand side is the actual graph. All right, so this is the graph that I created using Excel. And notice that here uh, for the maximum value, we're going to format the maximum value bar using a different color. Right, so here let me uh, put this back. Let's get started with this tutorial. Let me go to the example tab. Right, so this is what the uh, table looks like to create a chart. And here's the color palette that we're going to use to apply different colors. So to start, we need to uh, grab the maximum value in a separate row. In cell B6, I'm going to insert the maximum function. I'm going to highlight my uh, cell range from cell B5 all the way to M5. And I want to check whether or not if the uh, cell or the value is equals to the maximum value. Oops, yeah, let me put that back. And if the condition returns true, then I want to uh, wrap this function with the if function, then I want to return the value. Otherwise, I want to display an empty value and enter. Now I'm going to fill this formula all the way to the end. And since my data table is populated using the random between function, if I press F9, the numbers are going to get updated. Now I'm going to select my data table from cell B4 all the way to M5. Now I'll click on the Insert tab and select the uh, bar graph. I want to insert the uh, 2D horizontal bar graph. First, I'm going to resize the window a little bit. And here, let me uh, grab the screenshot. I'm going to delete the uh, chart title. Next, I want to select the Y axis label, right click, for my axis. And I want to merely set the minimal and maximum range. For the minimal, I'm going to set that to zero. For the maximum, I'm going to set that to 100. And the range is based on your data table. And for mine, because my uh, value is between zero to 100, so it's reasonable for me to set the minimal and the maximum value between zero to 100. Now I'll click on the Y axis label. I want my labels starts from January to December. So from the uh, format axis window, I'm going to click on categories in reverse order. And I want to move my Y axis label below the graph. So I'm going to click on labels and I'll set the label position to high. Next, we're going to adjust the uh, bar gap. I'm going to select every single bar and from the uh, series option, I want to set the gap width to 40%. Next, we're going to format the uh, gray lines. I'm going to select the gray line in the back. While the gray line is select, I'm going to click on this bucket icon and I'll set the transparency to 80%. And for the line color, I'll change that to 241, 242, and 243 for the RGB value. Next, I want to uh, format the background. Now I'm going to select the chart. I'm going to click on the uh, bucket icon. I'll choose solid fill. And for the background, I'm going to apply the RGB value to 159, 170, and 174. All right, so I'm going to uh, increase the height a little bit. And I'm going to click on the outer area, and I'll format the uh, background color to the RGB value of 51, 51, and 51. Next, I want to format my y-axis and x-axis labels. 
So I'm going to format the Y axis label first. For the label font style, I want to use this style called Tenor Right. And I'm going to set Y axis label font size to 13. I need to change the background color to uh, 241, 242, and 243. And I'll do the same for the x-axis label. Now I need to add this uh, maximum value to my chart. So here I'm going to click on the chart, right click, select data, and I want to add a new data series. So I'm going to click on add. For the series name, I'm going to leave that blank. For the series value, I'm simply going to select the cell range from cell B6 to M6. And okay. And notice that here, the, uh, the bar from the second row is sitting side by side with the uh, first data series. Click on the second bar. To make these two bars overlap, I'm going to change the overlap percentage to 100%. Alright, so we're almost finished. I want to insert the chart title and the subtitle. So here I'm going to resize the graph. And I need to change the color of the uh, second bar. So here, let me go back to the bucket. And for the uh, color RGB value, it's going to be 255, 115, and 101. All right, so let's see. The last thing we need to insert is the uh, chart title. For the chart title, I'm going to insert a text box. Now click on the Insert tab, click on Text Box. And make sure that you uh, create the text box outside the chart. Otherwise, the text box is going to be part of the chart element. So I'm going to uh, create a text box. And I'll type product sales. And I'll move the text box above the chart. And let me finish typing the title and subtitles. All right, so here I'm going to mainly uh, format the product sales chart title. The reason why I like to use text box to insert the chart title is because using the text box, we will have more controls on how we want to format the text. All right, so here for the text, I want to use the tenor rights uh, font style. And for the font size, I want to set that to 36. And I want to set the background to transparent. So click on Shape Format, and click on Shape Fill. And we're going to uh, select No Fill for the background. All right, so here I want to change the font, uh, the font color of the chart title to white. And I'll set the uh, fonts to bold as well. Next, we need to format the subtitle. And here, let me increase the text box width. And for the subtitle, I want to change the font size to 20. And I want to change the font style to Tenor Right. And for the font color, the RGB value is going to be 241, 242, and 243. And one last thing, I want to decrease the width of the chart just a little bit to give a little bit of uh, spacing at the end. Oh, and we need to uh, remove the, the text box border. All right, so on the uh, shape format, shape outline, I want to set that to no outline. And one more thing, we want to group the text box and the chart together as a single entity. So I'm going to uh, make sure that both items are select. Then right click, then want to group the items together. And that's it. All right, so this is everything I want to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching.
I'll see you guys on the next video.